Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechek Wadash, Yahweh, being the name of Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists. Ba'ashem, Ba'in, Ha'da, Shem, name, Yahweh Shai, being the name of the begotten Son, meaning He deliver, He saves, Rechek Wadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Back at it with nothing less through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this video was edifying. And I wanted to touch on this lesson, you know, through the spirit. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man. This is Sirach Ecclesiastes 4 and 27. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Okay? So you don't want to be a follower of a fool, pretty much, is what the scripture is saying. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, because you have a lot of our people who are underlings to foolish men. Men who are teaching the wrong doctrines. Men who are leading the flock astray. Men who are not showing forth a righteous example to the flock. And by you following them, all right, and you uh, subscribing to their doctrine, you're pretty much going to follow them into that ditch like how I spoke about. Because the scriptures say in the Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 10, starting at verse 1, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. You see? So pretty much, you know, what, are, what manner of the man that rules the city those that who are in the same vibration spirit as the city they're as the judge of that city man you know and that's why the, that's another reason why on a different level or a different aspect so to speak that this world is the way it is because the wicked is in is in authority and a lot of people are underlings to this foolish man esau edom and that's why they're wicked too and they subscribe to his poison they subscribe to his doctrine and his philosophies <laughs> And that's why they're going to get destroyed right along with him. But even if you want to take it on a different aspect within the within the circumcision, so to speak, with those who know their Israel. You have a lot of vain talkers, like scripture say, especially they of the circumcision. Let me get that real quick. Titus 1 and 10 it says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision meaning what you got a lot of people who are pushing a lot of false doctrine especially those who know they're israelites this is verse 11 it says whose mouths must be stopped right because they're subverting the followers man they're sub they're subverting the sheep because the sheep are following them blind blindly okay and some of them are following them ignorantly some of them are following them willingly you know knowing the ins and outs of of what people are pointing out that's wrong about their doctrine but yet they still choose to follow them and rebel against the truth that's why you're going to be destroyed with them the scriptures say make not thyself an underling to a foolish man so you so if you're wondering if your leader is a foolish man pray to yahweh shemal shai in truth and sincerity ask the lord to prove him okay because and really you know for the most part the lord is already exposing all these false all these false prophets, man, through his men, who a lot of people buck up against, <sighs> you know, but let's just say, let's just say by chance, you didn't catch the message from the men of the Lord, pretty Yahweh Shemel Shai to lead you to the, to the truth, you know, because at the end of the day, yeah, you know, when you first come in this thing and you're a babe and you're drinking on milk, you might not know, you know, the, the ins and outs of the doctrine. So it's all sweet to you. You watch every camp because you think, oh, we're all Hebrew Israelites, right? But no. Same way how you had people in the past who knew they were Israel and were false prophets and were not men of the Lord who came up against Yahweh Shai. Same thing now. That's why the scripture says, I'll read it again, Titus 1 and 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Meaning what? They know they're Israelites. Their circumcision represents Israel. That's a culture and a custom of the Israelites, beginning with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's a part of our covenant with the Lord. 
It says whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's what happens with a lot of these vain talkers and false prophets. They're really just selling out for a bag of money. So that's why they're teaching all these false doctors. And a lot of times they know the truth, you know. But instead of teaching the truth, they rather teach a lie to make money. And, you know, that's going to lead to their destruction. Okay. Because the scriptures speak about in Micah, the third chapter. For the judges of Israel, the Lord said, is it not for you to know judgment? You know, so a lot of these dudes, they know the truth. They know the names. They know the doctrine. All right. Or at least they did know the doctrine. They did know the names, but the Lord took his spirit away from them. So now they're bugged out. But for the most part, they, they've been marked. They heard this truth. <laughs> but instead, they wanted to go ahead and sell out to Esau, Edom. And that's why they're going to be destroyed. Because they made a covenant with death. And not with the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's go back to Sirach 10. I'll read it from the top again. Sirach Ecclesiastes 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people in the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. All right. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but... Through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be ha inhabited. That's right. So an unwise king destroyeth his people. This is um, Isaiah 9 and 16. It says, For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. You see? So, yeah. The false prophets, these leaders out here, man, they're causing Israel to err and be destroyed. But those who follow behind them, like Yahweh Shai said, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. Let me get there real quick. This is Matthew 15 and 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. That's right. So if you want to follow after these false prophets, you're going to be destroyed along with them. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. 14, starting at verse 9. It says, actually, let me start at verse 8. Ezekiel 14 and 8 says, And I will set my face against that, against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb. Okay, and that's the thing. The Lord is pointing out who these false prophets are. Okay, the Lord is, is revealing who he's truly dealing with here in these last days. Like the scripture says, Then shall be known who is my chosen. All right, this is also Malachi chapter 3, starting at verse 18. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Yahweh Shai and him that serveth him not. The Lord is making it manifest that there's a clear distinction between who are true servants of the Lord and who are false prophets. But you have to be given the eyes to see it. It's Ezekiel 14 and verse 8. And I will set my face against that man and will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. You see, so the Lord, he's going to cut off all these wicked false prophets, man. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. That's right, because the Lord, ultimately, he creates good and evil. And the Lord, he sets up false prophets to prove, you know, if you're really, if you're really for him or not. The Lord sets up stumbling blocks, all right, but the elect will not be deceived at those things. The scriptures say that it is impossible to deceive the Most High's elect. And no one can pluck them out of the Most High's hands. So these false prophets are set up to weed out those who are not sincere. Okay? And the scriptures say, with him are the deceived and the deceiver are, are his. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So those who are false prophets and those who are following behind those false prophets, the Lord sets them up to weed out those who are not sincere. It says, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment is kind of like, you know, when you go to a job and it's like a job where, you know, it's going to pay a lot of money. So what they'll do when they hire, when they hire a bunch of recruits, they'll try to make it seem like the job is so horrible to see who's really for it and who's really not. But even though they 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 love their job, 
they try to make it seem like it's so negative and it's so time consuming and it's taxing and it's labors laborsome those are all stumbling blocks to see to weed out those who are sincere about t taking that particular job or who's not it's the same thing with the heavenly father it says and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him you see so you go you go follow after those false prophets you're going to be destroyed right along with them it's jeremiah chapter 14 starting at verse 13 uh, says then said I our Lord power behold the prophet say unto them ye shall not see the sword neither shall ye have famine but I will give you assured peace in this place right and you have prophets like that saying there ain't gonna be no time of Jacob's trouble okay there's gonna be a tribulation period well guess what this is what the Lord says then the Lord said unto me the prophets prophesied lies in my name I sent them not neither have I commanded them and you actually got false prophets who know the name of the Lord? Who know the names of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai? But they're prophesying lies. Even though they're coming in the Lord's name. The scriptures speak about many shall arise in the last days saying, I am a Mashiach, or I am the anointed. And many false prophets shall deceive, you know, many people. That's why the scriptures say, try the spirit by the spirit, because there are many false prophets who have gone out into the world. And you don't want to be a follower of that. The scriptures say, not to be um, carried away with every wind, of every wind of doctrine. Also, Romans 16 and 17 says, Mark them which cause divisions contrary to the doctrine, and what? And avoid them. Okay? So you're supposed to avoid these wicked doers. Scriptures also say to um, remove thyself from a man that is without understanding. Okay? That you don't be disquieted with his madness. That's in the book of Sirach, the uh, I think it's Sirach. Uh, 22nd chapter if I'm not mistaken Let's get the precept Sirach 22 and 13 Talk not much with a fool and go not to him That hath no understanding Beware of him lest thou have trouble And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries Depart from him And thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted With madness that's right so you're not supposed to be You know trying to rub Elbows with these false prophets man all right, he says, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesied unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. Yeah, so the Lord saying, look, he's going to destroy those false prophets and the people to whom they prophesy to and the people who follow them. Right. It says because of the famine and the sword and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I'll pour their wickedness upon them. You see. So this is a real this is real serious, man. You don't want to be. Uh following after these wicked people man make not thyself an underling to a foolish man that's gonna get you killed this is ecclesiastes 10 starting at uh verse 16 it says woe unto woe to thee O land when thy king i mean what your ruler your judge right is a child and thy princes eat in the morning you see and that's and that's babylon babylon's king is a child esau Edom was like a child you know he doesn't get his way what does he do? He tries to slander, lie, defame people, destroy the world. You know, if he can't own the world, nobody can. That's childlike behavior, man. Okay, he goes after all his lust. He has no self-control. You know, he's a he's like a child, man. All right. But even these false prophets, they come in his spirit. Okay, it says, and thy princes eat in the morning. You know, because because. That's what these devils do. All right. It says, blessed are thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles. All right. The elect and thy princes eat in due season. Right. For strength and not for drunkenness. That's right, man. The elect are nobles. The elect are princes and nobles. And the elect will be the rulers of the kingdom to come under the rule of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Every man in his own particular order. All right. And the elect, they eat for they have temperance. You know, they eat for strength, not for drunkenness, not in that gluttonous spirit. Okay? Because as the ruler is, so is so is the people. 
So if your ruler is a diligent spiritual individual, the people will be as well. Or at least the vibration of the land and the kingdom will be. And those who are wicked are going to get weeded out. All right. So that goes to show you, you know, rulership. Whoever's in rulership is, is, is truly important, man. All right. And um, let's go ahead and get something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Bear with me. All right. Yep. So yeah, that's the point, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying, man. OK, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Chakudash. Double honors to those and apostles, the great Milton, that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Yeah, Bashim Shai Razad, this video was edifying, man. Shalom.